This is the captain. Brace for impact. What? Five people on that plane. Race, race, race. You were one of them. Got an A320 diving for the ribbon. Over 40 years in the air. Race, race. But in the end, I'm going to be judged on 208 seconds. I need a count, passengers and crew. I remember the flight vividly. In fact, in the first days, I remembered what I'd said in the cockpit almost verbatim. It wasn't until five months later when Jeff and I for the first time heard the cockpit voice recording ourselves that we found out that our memories were as accurate as they had been and they were etched in my mind and so those memories still years on are immediately accessible to me and I remember how I felt during that flight. Uh, this is uh, Cactus 1539, hit birds to lost thrust on both engines returning back towards LaGuardia. Okay, Cactus 1529, we can get it for you. Do you want to try to land 1913? We're unable. We may end up in the Hudson. It was a sudden shock after almost 30 years of routine airline flying where we try so hard never to be surprised by anything. When we were suddenly confronted with an ultimate challenge of a lifetime, one we'd never anticipated, one we'd never specifically trained for. And the moment that you glided onto the Hudson, how do you remember that? Well, first of all, thank you for calling it gliding to an emergency landing and not calling it a crash, although it was an accident. I was happy to have the third choice. I knew there were only three options, two runways near us that it turned out were not reachable, including reaction time, and the only place in the entire metropolitan area of New York, one of the most densely populated and developed areas on the planet that we could even attempt landing a large airliner was the Hudson River, and I was glad to have it. I'm a nervous um, passenger, very nervous passenger, and I'm actually going to go in a simulator tomorrow, um, and they're going to talk me through some of the things that you did. How would you like um, the public to view pilots? Airline professionals deserve to be respected because what we do and how we do it matters because we literally hold people's lives in our hands. Okay, Paul, if you can simulate the engine failure, please. Engine master one off. Engine master one? Confirmed. Off. You train long and hard, had all the aspects to do with flying, and then on the day you have to make a judgment and you have to risk assess what it is you need to do. Uh, Sully risk assessed that the best place for him to do, the best thing for him to do was to land on the Hudson and that's what he did. He drew together all of his experience and by doing that and using all of his training he was able to make the right decision. If you look at the amount of flights there are every day in the world, there's around 100,000 flights a day, it's clear that actually incidents happen on a very, very small number of occasions. So we've been reassured by the professionals here at Virgin Atlantic. There's uh, only one thing for it now, really, for a nervous flyer, and that is to uh, get in the hot seat and give it a go. You've now got the, the aeroplane. So what I want you to do is, it doesn't matter which way you go, just put a little bit of gentle movement in. It'll be fine, trust me. Put a tiny, tiny little bit of back pressure on it because we're just starting to go down. I don't okay. want to do it. Just put a little bit of back pressure on it, nothing will happen. Just a little squeeze of back pressure. There you go, now that you're flying it level again and just relax it again. There we go. So that's just telling us that we're climbing up to another altitude. So that's fantastic. So we're now in a climb up to 6,000 feet and you're flying it. Can you fly it? I can, yeah. So I've got control. My aircraft. Your aircraft. I want you to know I did the best I could. Of course you did. You saved everyone. Simulations show that you could make it back to the airport. Not possible. I felt it go. How did you get through that 15 months? Obviously with the love of your family, but you must have felt wronged. While the investigators are not adversarial, the investigation process absolutely is. Our professional reputations absolutely were at stake. And it was 15 months before they had decided that in fact we had made the best choices at every juncture, that we did things that were reasonable and led to the best outcome. Mm -hmm. Until that final report was released, we were waiting for the other shoe to drop and we didn't know ultimately how much blame we would or would not be given. I have always known him to be an exemplary pilot. I knew what the outcome would be that day because I knew my husband. My definition of success was absolute. 
complete had even one person not survived, I couldn't have celebrated any of this. So the fact that we got so much, so right, so quickly under those conditions, I think is one of the many things that's so remarkable about this story. Do you believe in miracles? No. I believe in preparation, skill, experience, and judgment. <laughs>